Okay, so uh, we're on our way right now to uh, pick up my dog Taco, who escaped uh, from a little hole in the fence that we're going to have to plug up and fix. Um, and uh, it's cutting into my video time, so I opted to do the video on the road today. Um, so uh, we're going to do a little bit of personal stuff, pick up Taco and uh he's a little chihuahua don't make fun of me because i got a little chihuahua all right chihuahuas are nice dogs you know why because when they have an accident it's a little accident this big when a big dog has an accident it's like a man accident it's disgusting all right so that's why i have a chihuahua um and like i said it's cutting into my regular video time so uh we're doing this on the road uh, I have an open house that I'm going to go to, so that we'll put that in there. And I'll show you guys today basically the proper way to do an open house. But first, we're going to pick up Taco. So right now, we're uh, just pulling up into the animal shelter. Pick up this little, little guy. All right. All right, here's Gabby. She's picking up her dog today, so. Gotta go here, the animal shelter, and uh, <laughs> let's go. All right, so we got Taco back. See this guy, he, he's the one that's been giving us trouble. <laughs> yeah? This little guy right here. What's up, buddy? Feeling good? Had a good uh, rest in the joint? Gabby sprung them from the joint. They're ready to go. Okay, we're gonna go over on how to do a really good open house. So first thing we're gonna go over is you have to put your signs out. Have to have these open signs out on each side of the street just like this one. You want them on each side of the street and you want one at a busy intersection. You can put balloons, you don't have to put balloons, but definitely want to have your signs out. I'd say one of the biggest things that you want to make sure, especially when you have an open house that's really, really busy, is that you have a system that gets everybody in and everybody out all within the times that you have your open house. The number one thing I see is not everybody gets into those. So if let's say you have a long line, you have to have a cutoff at the line. This way your open house ends on time. Uh, obviously you wanna have a good start time and you wanna have a system where you have, if you have a long line and a lot of people that you have uh, people coming in, in groups, you know, one in the basement, one in this first floor, one in the second floor, rotate everybody out get them out the door. Number one thing is you want to get everybody's eyeballs looking at these houses. That's the number one thing. This way you sell it quick. One of the things you want to do is have little, little treats and snacks, some water, and absolutely make sure that you have all your paperwork out. Fair housing notice, listing paperwork, all right, as well as sign up sheets. You want to make sure that for anybody that has no agent, that they're signing the agency agreements as well. 